Whoa, I almost missed my chair. I wouldn't have been good. So today, I brought a beer from Florida with me. It's a coconut key lime ale from Isla Morida. Ooh. Oh, yeah. You know what? It kind of looks like the waves of Florida. Beach water. Oh, yeah. All right, this topic is so much lighter that I'm actually going to take my jacket off. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Are we ready? So we're going to talk about staffing companies and the amount they would need to pay to attract the talent they need. As a 30-year labor economist, there are two things I know. One, I need to get a life. And two, every industry, but especially the staffing industry, will thrive only if they fully understand what's happening in the world around them. And with that, I'm gonna put this jacket down. It is impossible to effectively operate a staffing company in a data vacuum. Labor market data is everything. When you have the right data and you're using it correctly, it can help a staffing firm not only find business, but identify if it's business you should be working on and will it make you money. As a staffing company, you're probably hearing a lot of, it must be easy to place people in jobs right now because so many people are looking for a job. But the reality is that if you're a recruiter at a staffing firm, you're probably feeling the opposite. It is difficult to find people to fill the wrecks right now. I need to go back to the beach. I like coconut. Some people could probably say that this tastes like suntan lotion. If we look at our job posting data and recent jolt, wow, and, and the recents. <laughs> if we look at our job posting data and the recent jolt survey, we can see retail job postings are so high that if they were actually able to fill them all, they would have more employees now than before we entered this crisis. 200,000 more, in fact. Crazy, isn't it? Weren't we told that all the businesses were shutting down? Right now, there is great demand for good talent. So how can you use external labor market data to grow the bottom line of your staffing firm? Here's three ways. First, focus your lead generation on saturation and penetration. If you can look at data around real-time job postings and see who's posting jobs, who's looking for talent right now, what does that posting look like, and what skill are they posting, then you have an advantage. Say you've been doing great business with good old company X. Trouble is, you'd like to be selling more than just lab techs to company X, but they never seem to let you know of their other needs. Job posting data is a recipe for placing the talent you already have and to expand your contracts with those companies like company X. Imagine a world where you come into work in the morning and have a list of new opportunities without having to spend hours researching. Pretty cool, right? Second, bring in great Rex. A great wreck is one you can fill, and one you can fill at the right price. So what does it take to do that? You can look at the market intel to help you figure out if this is a wreck you can fill. If it looks like it may be problematic, you can then use that data to help educate your clients about the supply and demand dynamics in the market for any given job. So your clients hiring managers can help you create a more fillable wreck. Third, nail efficient fulfillment. What is Market Intel going to do for your recruiters? It's going to tell them where the talent they need is currently working, help them understand how much talent exists in the market for what they need to fill, and who else in the market has similar skills that are currently in jobs that pay less than the one you're trying to fill. All of this helps you to fill the wreck as fast as possible and make sure your recruiters have really efficient conversations about how to get the right talent. Staffing agencies must be a consultative partner. It's not about having mass quantities of intelligence. It's about having the right intelligence. Gone are the days of saying, trust me to your clients. They now expect to see how you're going to solve their so that. Blah. Whew. Okay, I think I need beer after that sentence. They now expect to see how you are going to solve their hiring needs and expect explanations for any hiring difficulties they are experiencing. So today I'm saying don't just take my word for the effectiveness of MZ for staffing. Let us show you how to get results. This is Ron from MZ, drinking coconut key lime ale from Fort Pierce, Florida. Take care. Delicious. Coconut ale, limey.